Also guys, today's video I'll be showing guys how to make this ident. Uh, I created a new template and yeah, let's just get right into it. Just go into the Google Drive and download the f uh, files. So, one thing I get out of this lot is why your text is red. Just download the font, uh, install it. So just press download and then open the file and then it'll say you can click install. So just do that. And then after you've done that, restart your DaVinci. And also the other one you want to download is just the ident template itself. So yeah. Uh, so you uh, open up your DaVinci and just drag in a fusion composition. Uh, it's in your effects toolbox and then effects and right here. Make it about uh, five frames long. So just in case, and then you can trim it down later. And then right click here and then open a fusion page. Once you got here, go to where you uh, have your template. Uh, so mine's right here. And just drag that in. And then right here, just connect it to the media out. And now I just want to change the names, so it's uh, gonna render. It might take some time. Just find like right here, maybe. Yeah, okay, there. And then just type in your name. So at you can do like Toad Toad FX or something, um, or like Toadly. And if the whole thing itself is like uh, not that big or not or too big for like your just too many uh, letters, you can just make the whole item smaller here. So yes, I'm gonna keep it the normal size. Um, and yeah, so you can change your name. And then next, you also can change this one. This is just the normal name in the middle. So I'll put like totally or something. And then if this covers it, then go to uh, this item right here, or this part, and you can like move it up, and then, uh, yeah, you can just play around with it. But uh, yeah, I'll just keep it because I'm too lazy to change it. And then, um, or I can just keep it as Toad, so then I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, okay, there. And then that's it, and then for the colors, you can just go to the background here and then you can make like blue or something and for each one background here make it blue also for this one just make it blue you want whatever colors you want and then after you've done that you can export it so uh it's good to deliver here and then make this like whatever uh you can put it wherever you want just mp4 uh, also you want to green screen it so I'll just get rid of this and then just go to your uh, generators and the yeah, solid color let's put it underneath uh, and then just make the solid color whatever is not in your background so I can do like bright green here and then we can keyed out layer what later so just go to your deliver and then here are the settings so you can make this 1440p if you want, but I just keep it at 1080. And then you can, uh, if you want the highest quality, you can just spam it with your ones. And then press enter, and you get the highest. And then you can also make this like spam a bunch of ones. And I'll set it to 120. And then you can just press browse here. And then I'll just put it, uh, just put in a random downloads. And then you can just add to render queue. This might take some time as this edit has a lot of effects, so yeah. Just press uh, start rendering. And it might take some time, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so uh, I know I'll be recording this two months later, but uh, after you put this, the ident with the green screen, you just want to right click here when it's over the clip. So I want to right click here and then uh, you want to go open a fusion page and then just press control space or shift space depending on Mac or PC 
and then uh, control space and insert the delta key, and then just add it. And then you just grab this background thing and just put it at the green or whatever other color it is for your item because it might be different. Yeah, and it should be transparent. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, peace.